This is an interactive quiz that I just created using Canva AI. And as you can see, I can interact with the page. I can answer a question and then this page will show me whether or not my answer was correct or wrong. And I think this is a lot more engaging than just reading a book or listening to what teacher says. And I think if you're a teacher, I think your student will appreciate this kind of learning a lot more than just traditional learning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive quiz just like this one using Canva AI. And actually, it will show the final result after the student has answered all the questions. Well, so let me show you how you can create something like this using Canva. But first, let's go to ChatGPT because I want to create an AI prompt based on a topic that I'm going to provide. So in this case, you can actually ask ChatGPT to create a prompt based on the questions that you might have on your document. But for this example, I'll try to use this AI prompt. And by the way, this is the same prompt that I used to create this interactive page. So I'm going to modify it a bit and I'm going to ask AI to modify the following prompt, but change the topic to animal. Again, I'm not providing any question. I'm just changing the topic. But if you have any question, you can actually upload the document to uh, ChatGPT and then tell it to create a prompt based on the, on the questions in the document. After that, send a message and just wait for ChatGPT to generate the prompt that later we can use on Canva. All right, now I'm going to select this text, copy, and after that, let's go to Canva.com. And here you have to navigate to Canva AI or you can also click on this menu. It is the same thing. I'm going to right click paste and enable code for me this is very important if you don't enable this option canva is not going to create this interactive page so make sure that you enable code for me option after that send a message and just wait for canva to generate the page based on the prompt that you have provided so it will basically create a website uh, using just html javascript and css and you can actually see the process in real time but keep in mind that this process could take quite a while i think it will spend like maybe five minutes to generate the page which is quite a lot of time but remember it is creating a lot of lines of code and also it is a lot faster than if you are if you are just doing it yourself you create a page using html this way it will take like days to finish but with ai it can be done in minutes so i'll show you the result in a moment all right it is finally done it's actually a lot faster than i expected and by the way you can actually ask canva if you want to modify anything from this page you can just tell it about the things that you want to change whether you want to change the question change the color the style animation etc you can just tell it in a natural dialogue natural language and here you can do the preview you can select any element and then just uh, do the testing to see if everything is work and if you're happy with the result you can click use in a design so it will open that page or that interactive quiz in a regular canva editing document and you can publish this as a website so you can click publish website and then you can include navigation menu if you have multiple pages but in this case there is only one page so i'm not going to enable that and after that you can click publish and just wait for canva to prepare that page into a real website which later you can share to your student and everybody can use it so let's visit the website and there you go okay still loading there you go so okay this is the result and yeah you can see that i can click anything i can you know click all the answer and it will give me feedback whether or not my answer was correct or wrong so uh, that's basically it but that's how you can create an interactive quiz using canva ai so if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day